team keep it clean what's up baby how y'all doing hope everything is going good i feel like i ain't talked to y'all in a little minute man i know it's only been like we only been away from each other for like a day but still feel like it's been a while but i hope you're doing real real good oh you and whoever you watching this video with or if you watching the video alone hope you're doing good if you're watching it with somebody hope both y'all all, all y'all doing good I got a lot of love for y'all, and I need y'all help with something. We're going to get into that in a minute, but first, today is National Lamar Jackson Day. Reason being because down here in South Florida, Lamar Jackson is having his annual fun day. So we're about to head out there in a little bit, um, so that should be a good time. It's usually a good time, so who knows who may pop up at this fun day. Oh, somebody always pops up who we didn't even expect, so we'll see what happens this year. But anyway, a Ravens defender. Who's been getting a lot of high praise, been getting a lot of accolades this uh, offseason. And there have been other offseasons where he's gotten it too, but the other offseasons he wasn't with the Ravens. But he received more high praise again. But I just, I don't get it and I don't understand it. Now, when I say I don't get it or understand it, it does not mean, it's not me saying that he's not deserving of it. No, it's not me saying that he hasn't earned it. No, 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 that ain't the case. Because I know that he's a baller. I know he can play. But me, myself, I just don't understand it. Now, who I'm talking about is Roquan Smith. And we know Roquan Smith, Ravens traded for him from the Chicago Bears. Um, and this was a trade that Eric DaCosta really wanted to make happen because he tried to trade for him. And he was talking to the Bears uh, in the offseason last year. But the Bears, they weren't budging. They weren't moving. And just they weren't getting it shaking at the time. Uh, then Eric DaCosta circled back around because, you know, when he really wants a player, he will circle back around. For that play, he did it with Justin Houston. He did it with Yannick Ngakwe. So he's up, but when he really wants somebody, he will circle back around and he will make it happen. So he did just that with Roquan Smith. And right before the trade deadline was up, Ravens go acquire this linebacker who's been a baller with Chicago, but now he comes to the Baltimore Ravens. And it's like, oh man, I get to go to a winning team now. And he continued to do his thing. He made his mark. Uh, he helped other players around him get even better. And he really did his thing. So we know that Roquan Smith can play. We know that he's a baller. We know that he's one of them guys. But this, uh, in a recent uh, poll, a recent list, because again, y'all know it's another list. So you know I'm with it. I love my list. But for this one, me, myself, I don't get in it. That's why I need y'all help. Uh, it says executives, players, scouts, and coaches ranked the best off-ball linebackers in the NFL. So me, y'all know me, I'm just a fan. I'm a fan of the game. I, I'm, I'm a fan of players, a fan of the team, a fan of the NFL. Love watching football. But me, while I'm a fan and I enjoy it, I also enjoy learning new stuff. I'm not an X's and O's guy. I'm not going to be able to look at a formation and be like, all right, that's that, uh, that's this, that's da, 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 da. That's not me. And I'm, I'm not ashamed of that. I'm willing to admit that. I don't know everything. I always tell y'all, like, a lot of y'all know way more than me. Way more. So y'all got it. And I appreciate that because that's why we're, like, questioning from subscribers and stuff and just really going through the comments section and all that. I appreciate being able to learn so much from y'all because over these years, I have learned a lot from Team Keep It Clean because y'all know your stuff. But there have been plenty of times when I've heard people having a conversation and stuff about, oh, this off-ball linebacker, that off-ball linebacker. I'll just be sitting there like, okay, what exactly is an off-ball linebacker? Because Roquan Smith, there was a list of the top 10 guys, top 10 off-ball linebackers in the NFL. And this was a list. It said number one was 49ers Fred Warner. See, with him, I know he's a baller. I know that boy can play. I know he's a playmaker. But when you say off ball, exactly what does that mean? The number two was Roquan Smith. The same can be said for him. Number three uh, was Tremaine Edmonds for the Bears. And I, that's Tremaine Edmonds that used to play for the Bills, I believe. And I'd always liked him. He's a long arm linebacker. Uh, and he just, he had this reach, this reach. So, and I think there was even a play where Lamar had threw it in the middle of the field and Tremaine Edmonds like tipped it up. And I think he actually caught the pick off of Lamar. Like, man. I hate that that happened to Lamar because that's my guy, but it was a nice play. It was a great play. Uh, and then there's another one on the Steelers, who's his brother. It's Tremaine Edwards. There's the Bills one. And what's the Steelers one? I don't even remember. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Number four, Bills linebacker Matt Milano. You know that he, he can play some ball too. 
And he's one of them underrated guys. Number five is Bucks linebacker Devin White. Number six is one of my personal favorite linebackers in the league is Saints linebacker Demario Davis. Uh, number seven is Colts linebacker uh, Shaq Leonard. I think he changed his name, though. But anyway, uh, number eight is Chiefs linebacker Nick Bolton. Number nine is Jets linebacker C.J. Mosley. And number 10, 49 is linebacker uh, Dre Greenlaw. I'm not familiar with him. And then some honorable mentions were Seahawks, Bobby Wagner, Bucks, Levante, David, uh, Jaguars, um, Olukon. I'm not going to try to say his name because I don't want to mess it up. Bengals, Logan Wilson. I know he can play. He, he, he talk a good game, but he, he backs it up with his play too. Uh, and then Ravens linebacker Patrick Queen was also an honorable mention. So, hey, both Ravens inside linebackers, they made it. But anyway, so that is the list. But Roquan Smith sitting at number two. And, again, him being ranked as one of the best inside linebackers in the league, obviously no problem with that. But I just, I just really want a team to keep his cleans help with this one. Because, again, like I said, I know he can play. I know that boy can play. I know he can make plays. I know that he can make people. But exactly what is an off-ball linebacker? That's what I want somebody to please explain to me in the comment section. Um, if you want to hit me up or send a DM about it, to that, but please explain it to me in the comment section. Because, see, th this is why I would prefer you explain it in the comment section because it will not only help me understand, but I'm sure there may be somebody else out there. I'm sure it's probably not many of us because, again, y'all know way more than I do, but it's probably somebody else out there too that's like, oh, oh what, what is an off-ball linebacker? What, what, what ex is exactly that? So when y'all put it in the comment section, I'll be able to see it, but then they'll be able to see it too. And so next time that me or them, we round somebody and they're having a conversation, oh, that, oh he, he's, he's better at being an off-ball linebacker than what is the opposite, an on-ball linebacker? Again, you educate me. Educate me. Please, let, let, let not, well, not just me, let us all know exactly what it is. I know a lot of y'all X's and O's guys. I know a lot of y'all have been involved, whether you played the game of football uh, on whatever level you played it on, some just little league, some peewee, some high school, some college, some pros. It's so, it's, again, team keep it clean. Y'all have done and accomplished so much in your lives that a lot of people don't even know about. A lot of people don't even realize. Y'all got not only a lot of, so much knowledge, but y'all got so much experience too. And that experience, it can help us all out. And it can help us all understand the game of football that much more. So, again, people having a conversation about off-ball linebackers. I could be like, so once y'all explain it to me in the comments, I'll be like, all right, I'm going to jump back in. I'm going to jump in that conversation. I'm going to talk about it too. Because now I know what an off-ball linebacker is because Team Keep It Clean, they hooked it up. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Oh, real quick, because you know stuff crazy. You can follow on Twitter. Of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's, that's the most important thing. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single thing. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean channel members. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much as well. Thank you. Thank you for everybody who supports the channel. Thank you for everybody who's been patient with the channel. Thank you for everybody who's been sending questions, in to, questions from subscribers into the channel. I've seen them. We ain't doing them yet, but I've seen them. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you very, very much. And thank you for y'all just being crazy with the support. You can follow on Twitter. You can follow on Instagram. You can follow on Threads. Threads is the newest thing right now. Even though it's, apparently they about to get sued or whatever. You can follow on Threads while it's still live. Everything is engraving vids. I appreciate y'all so much. Seriously, I do. I really appreciate y'all. Because the way that y'all show support, the way that y'all show extra support, you ain't got to do that, but you do it. So I love you for that. I appreciate you. And again, I thank you all for educating me on exactly what an off-ball linebacker is. And I thank you for everything that you've educated me on just over the years. Because like I said before, I learned so much from y'all. I learned a whole lot from y'all. And, and it just, when, when you get to learn from other people, it just takes your, your fandom, it, it makes it even more fun. Because you can understand a little more here and there, and then when you're talking about this or that, it's just, it's just so much better when you understand that much more. So I appreciate y'all a lot. Love you. Hope you're having a great day. And we out.